All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're here with another NFL prediction video for Week 7. Before we get into it, let's check out what we did last week. Uh, I went 7-9 and nine last week, um, which brings my total of the year with 56 and 41 and 1 in my predictions this year. So, that's uh, not uh, good for me. I mean, the overall record I'm fine with. Last week, though, uh, not so much. That was probably my worst week since the uh, beginning of the year with week one. So, uh, let's get into this uh, week's games. Starting off with Thursday Night Football, Saints and Cardinals. You know, Thursday Night Football, the last couple weeks have been uh, like a joke uh, with the games have been performing. But uh, this one, I don't know who to go with. Saints, you know, kind of look good. Cardinals, not at all. But they do got D-Hop come back. Um, I'll go with the Cardinals win that one. I'll throw them my bone. Next, we got the Browns and Ravens. Ravens took an L to the Giants. The Browns taking the L uh, to the um, Patriots. I don't know. I guess I'll go with the Ravens. They bounce back and take out the Browns. Buccaneers and Panthers. Panthers are uh, probably the worst team in football. Buccaneers, you know, they lost to the Steelers. Did not see that coming. I mean, I think the Buccaneers can win. I'm going with them, but I'm not really hopeful. But who knows? Maybe they can win. I think they will. Falcons and the Bengals. You know, uh, both these teams uh, won last week. The Falcons had a pretty nice victory over the 49ers, which was shocking. Good for them. Uh, that whole division of the Saints, Falcons, you know, Buccaneers, outside the Panthers. Uh, it's like a three-team race right now. Um, I do see the Bengals winning this one. and uh, But, yeah, uh, maybe the Falcons are a dark horse. Uh, let's see. Maybe they can do it again this week. If they do, then maybe. Who knows? Up next, we got the Lions and the Dallas Cowboys. Um, now, last week, the Cowboys took on the uh, Eagles in Sunday Night Football, which I bet many of you watched. Um, and, you know, it didn't look good at the beginning. And then... Uh, Cowboys kind of had a comeback uh, starting to brew, and then the Eagles took over. And uh, now it looks like Dak Prescott will be back this Sunday, which I'm really excited to see. And I could put the Dallas Cowboys over and uh, give them the win. I thought Cooper Rush did great uh, in his last game against the Eagles. You know, he threw three picks, and I think it's time for Dak Prescott to take back this team. And I got the Cowboys beating the Lions. Giants and the Jaguars, this is an interesting one. You know, Giants, I'm give it to them. They are, you know, decent team. You know, their only losses to my Cowboys, so I'll take that. Uh, but the Jaguars, you know, are a weird team. Uh, they just flop back and forth. I got the Giants in this game. Up next, we got the Green Bay Packers and the Commanders. This Packers team has lost two games in a row. First time ever in the uh, Matt LaFleur uh, time he's been coaching. You know, the Commanders took the Bears out on Thursday Night Football last week. Packers lost to the Giants, and then they lost to the Jets. Uh, can Aaron Rodgers bounce back this week? Maybe, I don't know, but the only thing that the Commanders, I mean, the Commanders are just a crazy organization anyway, but now, uh, Carson Wentz is hurt, so we probably won't see him. I mean, he's out for like six weeks, so I don't know who back quarterback's gonna be, but, uh, I'll take the Packers in that one. Colts and Titans, uh, this one is, you know, interesting because the Colts, I mean, one week they look good and next week they don't, and then the Titans at the same time, I mean, th these two teams just played each other, like, like literally just two weeks ago, which is crazy that they're already ending their season against each other, um, and the Titans won that one in a close game, uh, I guess I'll go with, I don't know, man. I guess I'll go with the Titans to beat the Colts again. Um, like that, I got the same thing with that division, like the Buccaneers. It's just open to anybody. So I'll go with the Titans. The Texans and the Raiders. Uh, you know, Texans, Raiders, these two teams uh, are one of the, the two worst teams in the AFC. Um, and, you know, Raiders had that game. Uh I might have football really close with the Chiefs. I uh, wish they could have won that game. I'll go with the Raiders to beat the Texans. Jets and the Broncos. This one, um, 
I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know. Russell Wilson, the C, uh, sorry, the Broncos, it's just not working out. The Jets, on the other hand, shocking. I mean, what? What are they like? What four and two right now? I think. And yeah, I don't know. Do I? I, I really want to take the Jets here, and I think I will. I'll see the Jets to beat the Broncos. I mean, if Russell Wilson can't do it this week, I don't know what's going to happen this year with the Broncos. I mean, just a big failure. Uh, but. His first season over there. Up next, which I believe is the game of the week, or national game of the week, we got a Super Bowl rematch, Super Bowl 55. We got the Kansas City Chiefs heading to San Francisco to take on the 49ers. Chiefs had a great, fun game against the Bills. 49ers took an L to the Falcons, so that kind of puts a damper on a little damper on the thing. But uh, still cool to see a Super Bowl rematch, uh, especially when it's kind of the same teams at the time. Um... I'll go with the Chiefs to bounce back and take out the 49ers. Seahawks and Chargers. Chargers didn't look too great in that victory the other day against the Broncos. But, hey, a win's a win in the NFL. Seahawks, um, I mean, they took care of business uh, and beat, you know, the Cardinals. Uh, but, I have, a, I mean, I'm going to go with the Chargers. I don't know. I mean, Herbert's not 100%, but I'll go with him. Up next, we got Sunday Night Football, which is the Pittsburgh Steelers going to Miami, take on the Dolphins. So this is interesting to see. Um, you know, not, it doesn't feel like a th- uh, Sunday Night Football game, but, you know, when they make this schedule at the beginning of the year before any games have happened, any players have hurt, you know, they're like, well, you know, the Dolphins look good now. They got a lot of star power. And, you know, Pittsburgh Steelers are one of the classics. Now, the good thing is I think Tua Vega is back to play for the Dolphins, which is great, and hopefully that Dolphin team can get winning again. Um, I'm going to go with the Dolphins over the Steelers, plus I don't even know who the heck the Steelers quarterback is going to be. I heard Trubisky got benched again, and then, yeah, whatever. And then finally, Monday Night Football, Bears and the Patriots. Um, Bears do not look good. Patriots, though, they, uh, with their back quarterback, Bailey Zap- Zappi, Zapke, Zap- whatever you say his name, he, um, Looks good for them. And he, uh, you know, it's interesting. Is there, a, I mean, as a Patriot fan out there, is there like a debate right now? Like, hey, I mean, with is Mac Jones gone, Bailey's looking good. What do we do here? I got them taking out the Bears to end week seven in the NFL. So those are my predictions for this week. Hopefully, I can do better than seven and nine like I did last week. And up my overall score. Game that I am looking forward to the most. Uh, will probably be, and most of you maybe, I am uh, like 99% sure that Dak Prescott's back, and I think that'll be the game uh, that most people will be keeping an eye on if they could, are able to watch it. The Cowboys, Dak Prescott back, see how he moves that offense, and uh, get back on, you know, with some wins. Uh, because, you know, in the division, you got the Giants who are winning, and the, and the Eagles who are winning, and you got to keep up with them, and hopefully Eagles and Giants split their series this year and all that but Cowboys Lions definitely gonna be the game uh looking out for this week and then that Chiefs uh for an hours game looks pretty good too but um that's my predictions guys if you enjoyed please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and uh I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching